Hey everybody, this is Rustin Rose with Metalholic Magazine and Access Entertainment. With me today, my brother Vitek Nabi of Metal Wani and Metal Nation Radio. And joining us, our German brother, Herman Frank of Accept, and of course now the amazing, the German Panzer. How are you doing, brother? <laughs> I'm fine, how are you? Thanks. Doing absolutely wonderful, glad to get a chance to chat with you. The new <laughs> album, the congrats on the debut, it's an absolute beast. Oh, thank you so much, thank you so much, I appreciate that. Now, Herman, you're back from an amazing tour with Accept in a European, Australian, and Asia as well. So you covered almost three continents. How has been the journey and the response, uh, you know, from your fans? I mean, it was great, a great tour. I mean, we started in first of September in in the US. Mm-hmm. Then we came back, get get back to Europe from Finland to Spain. We covered Japan with five concerts, and, was, and we had we hit the first time Australia. That was fucking great. That was awesome, and great fans out there. Great, great reaction. Couple of shows, a lot of sold out shows. It was really great. Fantastic. Now the German Panzer, what what I would preferably call it, is a well oiled German machine. Now a new album is out. You released two singles and also a video last week. So how's been the response from your fans when it comes to the new material? I think everybody's really excited about the new album, and everybody was waiting how it would sound like, you know, because <laughs> nobody expected it sounded like this. Right. Well, to, to sort of start things off, I understand Stefan sort of came up with the idea for Panzer, but give us a little backstory on how it all came together. I mean, yeah, actually, the, the, the whole idea maybe started, Stefan started, he was talking to his friend Norbert Mandel, he's the owner of the rock club Z7 in Basel, they're playing so many bands down there, and he's a friend of us, uh, Norbert is in the music business for around 40 years or 30 years, even, even longer than me, <laughs> and so they came up, maybe Stefan got a little bit bored, or he said, I, I would like, like to have a different band except uh, besides except you know thinking and they came up with the idea uh, we should do, do a trio a real power trio so they come up with the idea to have Schmier as a bass player and, and a vocalist and then they called me up by night 10 by night or 11 by night and they said hey we want to do a trio with Schmier on a vocalist and I said hey, are you kidding me <laughs> Schmier is from destruction. This is trash, you know. How should this work out? I mean, I've done different music so far, but they said, "Hey, Schmier can sing differently. Just let's give it a chance, you know. Let's let's give it a try." So we decided. After I said, "Okay, I will call you back, guys. Give me a couple of minutes to think about." But then I found it very interesting. The interested the the idea, you know. So do a little bit different kind of style in music and just if it's it might be a new adventure you know a new challenge or, or what to do some music with me and, and stefan and then we decided to to just have a meeting down there in basel to know each other or say hello to each other and let's have a little talk about the, the music we want to do or how we want to do the project anyway how we want to start and <laughs> by accident we met and after half an hour we got very drunk <laughs> everybody was fucked up <laughs> And totally drunk, and then we decided, hey, if we can drink together, we we should try to give it a, uh, 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 give it a try to to do some music together. So the Panzer was born, the idea. Wow, that's awesome! Now, send them all to hell. The debut album features a good deal of ferocity. It has that that strong elements of what destruction is known for, and then we have the the classical metal essence of Accept. So. According to you, what are the different areas you explored on this album? I mean, it was uh, that was that was that was the thing. What I, I found it interesting for to to combine a little bit these two styles, you know. Mm-hmm. I mean, it, it was very clear from the beginning we couldn't do it just write a, a classic heavy metal album, or we couldn't do a, a classic destruction album because I right. I wouldn't be wouldn't be able to play like Destruction and Schmier wouldn't be able to sing like a, a the traditional heavy metal guy. Sure. So we had to find a, this this red line in between these two stories. And that was the thing what was in, very interesting for me. And so I came up with some riffs and then I was listening to, to Schmier and he said, I use a couple of different rhythm changes or harmonies and stuff like that. And so we came up with a kind of like own character of music 
which gives uh, personality to to the Panzer thing, you know. Awesome. I think the music from Panzer is not sounding like or like this band or like this band. It's kind of like an own style, a awesome. little bit, just a little bit. I mean, it's not totally new invented music, you know. So all in all, I mean, there was no 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 big thinking about when 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 we started writing music or I started writing then a couple of songs. Mm -hmm. just, it just came out, and we just we didn't look that much left and right to to get the result. I mean, the only thing you can you can write a, a new song or write a new CD is just put out what what's inside you, you know. True, absolutely. We didn't want didn't want to spend so much time on thinking about oh should we go this way or this way or let's wait and listen back for four weeks um, that's bullshitting everybody it's what was very clear from the best uh, right from the, start beginning. From the beginning that we just want to throw out something real fresh and real raw and and not aggressive but real real hard you know I and I think you did that on this album. As a matter of fact, one of the songs that pops into my head is "Why." The way Shamir screams "Why" in the chorus puts your teeth on edge. There, <laughs> you know, that's a that's an awesome song. It was one of the first things we came up on the first rehearsal. You know, I came down with with, with this riff and 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 the, and the hook of the lyrics of the voice of the vocal line, and that's what one of the songs we've done. Awesome. And then what your riffs, I mean, so, you know, mid-tempo, cannon fire, you know, blistering, you know, guitar riffs, you know, like we say, <laughs> like a panzer. Now, this word, you know, this like a panzer is more like it resonates in, in, a, in, a, in the head of a listener for a long, long time. <laughs> Thank you so much. Well, and, and, you know, from your perspective, I mean, this album has definitely some concept. Uh, has an idea the way the the cover yeah, art illustrates the meaning so or an idea which you guys want to convey to your fans so could you shed some light on that i think so i mean it's not an easy thing to create a, a, a cover which gives the the, the meaning or the the the, the 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 sentence some to the fans you know right we said we want to have a panzer because we maybe are an instrument a strong instrument because uh, Schmier is always pointing out with his lyrics to some social problems or some problems in the world they should be fixed, you know, about a, a couple of wrong people or a current kind of wrong things they're going on in the world. And so in a different meaning, maybe the Panzer is the thing which points out to people what's going on wrong on, on, on the world, you know, from the lyric side. Fantastic. Yeah, I wanted to ask you, Herman, you know, in, in except Peter and Wolf do the predominant songwriting, what, has, has this yeah. been has this been an, an outlet for you to sort of stretch your wings as a songwriter? Yeah, I'm always, I'm, I, I mean, I, I wrote songs since 30 years, you know, since since I began my music career as, a, as, a, in, a, as in a school band. And it, it's on the one side, it's a little bit shame that I can't, show my talent in, into writing a couple of accept songs, you know. I really wish and I really would like to write some songs, but hey, Peter and, and, and both, they decided we are accept and they, we want to do it by our, by our own. So, hey, why should I stop because I'm playing an accept to write songs, you know. I, th I wrote songs for Victory, for Hazard, for Moondog, for my two solo albums, for so many bands, you know. It's normal that I don't stop and Panzer or all these other bands give me a chance to just put out my music which which is in my head, you know. Fantastic. That that's the reason why Cinemal to Hell makes us feel that that this tank has an enormous power engine. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I guess I, I'm I'm quite sure about that. <laughs> I mean we put everything as I said, we didn't th think about that much about the result. We just throw it out, you know, and was really fast throwing out and, and it kind of like not easy I mean it's a it's a big process to get some good songs out but we throw them out and, and, and they, they had been there right what in your mind Herman what constitutes a Panzer song I mean how, do, how does it all come together and, and what does it look like in your eye as, as the as the riff master that you are <laughs> thanks for the riff master <laughs> I mean, as a guitar player, you have to be the riff master, you know. <laughs> Who else should it be in this? I mean, what I, I'm really proud about the the the, what the whole CD is that every song got his own character, and I tried to put some real feelings in there. 
like in in the song Why or or in this death knell, you know, it's it's like a rolling thunder going on, and True. every song got his own vibe. But all in all, if you listen to the to the whole whole CD, it goes like uh, uh, there's a red line in it. That, that's really cool, and you also covered the Gary Moore song "Murder in the Sky." So, you know, is there any new idea that that you seek to establish, which is different from the original song? I mean, that was supposed to be a, a bonus track. The thing was, uh, we recorded real fast. The first session was four days. The second session was five days, and then we then the, we got this record deal all of a sudden, you know. <laughs> and so the schmear came up: a hey, they might need a bonus track. And we said, oh, we don't have material for that. So we sat down and wrote the song Panzer real quick in as the last song in half an hour, an hour in the studio, you know? Wow. So that, but it turned out so good that we had be ashamed to put this out as a, as a bonus track. Then the next, then we got the next problem. We still don't have a bonus track. Then we sat down, <laughs> drank a couple of beers, and then somebody came up, why don't we use Murders in the Sky? Because Schmier likes loves the song very much, and he said, "I can, I'm able to sing that. I'm able to sing that." And wow. I said, I, "I know this song. I know this song." So we sat down <laughs> by night uh, on the last day, and we had to come up with, <laughs> with this bonus track. Then and that was "Murders in the Sky." Fantastic. Those pants that uh, turned out so 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 good, you know, the song. And we didn't want to not waste it as a bonus track, but we wanted to put it on the real album. I can tell you we're glad that you did put it on there. It's one of my favorite tracks on the album. But So now you had said a moment ago, you alluded to this, you've been doing this for like 30-some years. You, you've had so many, through so many different eras, the victory, yeah. accept, your work in Hazard. Has your, appro- yeah. has your approach towards heavy metal evolved in any way or your songwriting evolved in any way to sort of suit the time or the era that you're playing in? For sure, I mean, I mean, you change your attitude uh, for sure in in in, in between de- decades, you know. But still, I was working uh, also besides writing writing music. I, I mean, my my whole life is kind of like music. I was producing so many bands, and I also wrote songs for punk bands, you know. So I'm, re- I'm I'm my musical <laughs> brain is wide open, you know. If I would find more time, I would do different projects. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool now you have to make some plan and because the material on this album is meant to be unleashed live so are there any plans of taking the German Panzer on road the whole idea was from the start to, to, to form this trio to, to have a chance to play live you know because we want this might be a good band for mm, festivals or, or club shows or something you know because if, if you think about if we can manage it to bring this power from the city to 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 a stage it might be awesome and the only thing we have to wait for is the time schedule for 2015 for accept just because i didn't get it so far okay and the, the time schedule for destruction and then we put some shows around these uh, fantastic for sure i mean there are also already some offers we we uh, the, we just signed the contract for the summer breeze festival in summer is a German festival and it starts right now that people ask hey, do you want to play there do you want to go there we might have a chance to support Overkill on a, a, couple, on a part of a tour and awesome. stuff like that but I mean it's really fresh the record came, just came out and the future is wide open but for sure we want to go out, out live that's so, awesome our last question before we get out of here to help people understand a little bit about you can you give us three albums that sort of changed your life or sort of informed who you are as a musician oh for sure <laughs> the first one is maybe Ted Nugent's Double Life Gonzo nice that's back way back <laughs> some people might know it <laughs> <laughs> but Ted Nugent as, as, as a guitar player I mean he influenced me and his kind of music and his stage performing it was kind of like thing I, I really like the next thing is uh, Rainbow Richie Blackmore right cool Rainbow R- uh, Rising this is this live album this amazing live album it's, it's just fantastic um, I mean there's so many but an outstanding other thing was the first Van, Van Halen album with this eruption uh, guitar solo on it and stuff like that you know and running with the devil and that was that maybe these three are the albums I can mention Awesome, Herman Frank, the German Panzer, and of course, accept the brand new album, Send Them All to Hell. 
fantastic talking with you. Thanks so much for taking the time on behalf of Metalholic and Metal Wani, and we, we hope to get a chance to see you guys live. Okay, thanks. I appreciate you taking your time. Take care, Thank brother. you, Herman. Have a great day ahead.